thousands of students across North Carolina are headed back to school this morning, and many of them are masking up. Wake Up Charlotte's Kendall Morris now live from West Cabarrus High School in Concord. And Kendall, Cabarrus County School is one of many that actually reversed their decision on masks just in the last week. Yeah, Ben, that's right. Last Monday night, the Cabarrus County Board of Education voted to require masks this school year. That means in just a few hours when students step on the campus here of West Cabarrus High School, they will have to mask up when they are inside the classroom. It's back to class for students in Cabarrus County. I think we're all excited to have our kids back in school and, um, you know, do what we do best, which is teach children and engage with children. I, John Joseph Kopicki, do solemnly swear that I New was Cabarrus County Schools Superintendent John Kopicki started on the job one week ago. The Board of Education discussing its mask policy uh, his first night. We're teaching our children to be terrified. We have made these poor kids believe that if they spread this virus, by the way, they've shown to be the least spreaders, that they could kill their grandparents. I am voting for masks in the schools because I want these kids to stay in school five days a week. I want them to get educated. The board deciding to reverse its original mask optional decision and require face coverings to start the school year. But I do think in the beginning of the year, the right thing to do based on the information we have right now today was to, to uh, provide masks for our kids. and and to allow them to walk into to school um, with that extra protection. Students in Cabarrus County returning to the classroom for a third school year impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. Masks, once again, part of the equation. I would encourage people to be patient um, and kind to one another. And I think if we work together and are collaborative in our efforts, we will get through this. And Cabarrus County Schools says that children will be allowed mask breaks throughout the day. The Board of Education is set to take up the mask issue again at its next business meeting. Live in Cabarrus County, Kendall Morris, WCNC Sharp.